Ow. Okay. I see how it is. Are you guys ready for some amazing oh, I'm content? Right on, <laughs> I'm right on like a. I am. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh my gosh. Hit, hit me with what? one. Uh, hi everyone. Welcome to a live version of the FAQ podcast. Bruce is our soundboard. I'm gonna go right in there. I'm, I'm putting it on the mic. It's on the top. Anyway. <laughs> DJ oh, okay. Bruce. Watch a bunch of dudes struggle with the microphone. So this is where we take your questions That's live. Right. That's right. Anyway, yes. Well, Whose questions? Uh, so here, there's a little twist. If anyone in the audience has a question for us, you're allowed to ask us That's anything. That's right. We're putting you guys on uh, the spot. Yeah. So you ask us questions, <laughs> and then we answer okay. them and probably make fun of you. The goal was to play annoying noises, but apparently that's not working. It's not, yeah. wor it's not working on the... Here, hold on. Let, How? Hold on. Listen, everybody listen really close. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, we can have one mic for the audience and one mic for stupid sound effects. So <laughs> well, then what, what do I... How do I talk? No, you're... Oh. Joel. No, you definitely have to go for the audience. What? What is about this doesn't make sense? Anyway, okay, so uh, each podcast typically has a theme. You guys get to ask us questions about something that it, it, gives, it gives construct. Otherwise, people ask kind of boring questions. So you have to ask us questions about PAX as a convention or about travel. What's it like oh. for us, for you? That would be weird if you asked about you, but we could try and answer it anyway. Did you say so, about travel? Yeah. Or, or just or ask video events. Games. Or, or ask a question games. about video games, too. Looking for gr great deals on trips to Cancun? <laughs> Lawrence Ossity. Lawrence is going down there, all getting right, the bye. pit. Oh, look out! Oh, oh, the, the best part, before all this started, you. Lawrence goes, I'll let you intro it. You do it. And then he just <laughs> shit all over me. <laughs> this is great. It doesn't work. Here. Hello. Wait, what is it related to? Okay. Lawrence, Lawrence get, get it right up in there, because you can't hear. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hardest part about traveling. <laughs> what did she say? The hardest That's part. That's the hardest part about traveling. Traveling. Hold on. All right, give me a Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I work with idiots. Okay, so. <laughs> Go ahead. What? No, you answer. The hardest <laughs> part about traveling is the, uh, Is corralling all, I was gonna, oh, I was gonna say corralling all of Funhouse to be. Uh, uh, by the way, have, have you seen Sean Poole around? You haven't seen Ooh. Sean Poole. Yeah, oh, have God. you seen Spool anywhere? Because yeah. he's missing. I don't, I no. think uh, enough of us, we've been doing this for long enough that it's, this is easy. Yeah. Like, Seattle's nothing. We live in LA, it's a three hour flight. Uh, it's keeping a hold of Spool. We don't know where he is. Every, every time we do this, it's basically like Home Alone 2. We're all rushing through the airport. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh look Sean at that. Made it. Decided to show up late. Uh, we're yeah. all rushing through the airport, and then uh, Sean has to hang back to change the batteries on his talk boy. <laughs> yeah. But then he ends up following the wrong group of YouTubers uh, to New York City right. instead of oh. to Seattle. So. Hi. Thanks for well, showing up. My well, Uber driver got lost. Why uh, were you in a car? Yeah. Why did you leave the convention? Where did you go? Because it's windy out there and scary. No, but... Where I did you go? Where, wait, where were you traveling? Yeah, I have a question. Where did you go? So they come, oh, I went back to our Airbnb. Oh, my God. For like a half an hour. It's really far away, guys. I'm Airbnb take is a really cat far nap. away. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyone Sorry, else Lawrence. have a question? question? Yeah, you, what's up? Uh, where's Peak? Oh, fuck me. Where's Peak? Matt Peak is where I was. He's editing oh, Open House right now. There you go. For Tuesday. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you so stop with the ringtone horn. That's all I've got. Uh, so, um, oh, that's weird. yeah. So no peak. Uh, uh, yeah, peak's working. Really, what is he editing right now? He's oh. editing open house. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's editing. Yeah, open house. Uh, that's part of the one of the problems of traveling. We always need to still do work. Somebody's well, still editing. And so. we we came off having just traveled for like RTX, so there's right. no point where we could uh, speed back up and then and get ahead on things. So. So we're <laughs> yeah. sacrificing ourselves for you. They don't oh, care. No. They don't care. They just want to watch a video. Oh that's right. right. All right. All right. What's your question? All right. So uh, what's the What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you guys on like a flight? What's the lamest thing? The weirdest, the weirdest thing, thing that ever happened on a flight. On a flight. Tell them about your flight. The vomiting flight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is terrible. Oh man. So my girlfriend and I were coming back from a vacation, okay. uh, and we had a really long flight, like a 12-hour flight. <laughs> and the, the in front of us was a family with two small children, like like the ages of two and three. Okay. And across the aisle from us okay. was right. another family with small children. And both of the kids had stomach viruses, and they were puking the entire flight. And I say they were puking the entire flight, and you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, they threw up a couple times. I literally mean it was nonstop puke for eight hours. And the amount of liquid that came out of these children was truly impressive. <laughs> they went through... I'm not joking you, six or seven vomit bags, filling it up to the top and then having to go uh, throw it out. This, you couldn't do anything, so you, you, 
like, you, I wasn't upset with them. It was just really sad, man. Uh, there was one time where we were traveling. I don't remember where, but Bruce does this thing where if he's in group three, he's probably going to try and get on at group one and then try and get on at group two just to see if he can. And one time he tried that because we were group two and he's group three. He tried to go on with us. Yeah, here, and here. the woman was like... Here, reenact it. All right, okay. so you're Bruce. All right. I'm checking people's tickets. Okay. Uh, sir, let me sit. No, I'm sir. with them. No, sir. I'm with them. No, no sir. We're, no, I'm with... We're boarding group... Sir, sir. <laughs> Sir, they, they almost called the the TSA to no, drag they Bruce didn't. out of there. No, they didn't. They pulled out their gun and they said, "You freeze! <laughs> you freeze!" And it's like him. Bruce is worse than a terrorist. She made me to, she made me stand next to her for the rest of the time as they were boarding. She, was, she couldn't trust you after that. She, you had to hold her hand. Uh, Lawrence, next question. All right. What's Lawrence your question? is like the Phil Donahue. When of you guys house. are traveling, who rooms with who, and who's a bad and a good roommate? Normally, Adam and I share a bed. That's not a joke, by the way. Uh, normally, yeah. uh, Germany was magical. Normally, Joel and I share an atom. <laughs> um, no, it, it kind of depends. Uh, yeah. so we got screwed out of our Airbnb so, this week. Yeah, so for this one, we were originally going to try and get two Airbnbs, and we were just going to stay at, like, two apartments yeah. uh, in the area. But then at the last minute, one of, the, one of them just got canceled, so then we had to get hotels. And so uh, for this one, I have my own room. Joel has his own room. I have two beds in my room. And then, Whoa! And then uh, who's the lucky lad coming home with me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that you were trying lucky to decide what you were going to say. Girlfriend. And then oh. and then we have an Airbnb that's amazing. It's a fantastic place. Uh, you should come by. Yeah, you should actually uh, come by. I'll give you the address later. Uh, Dex, you're not allowed to come. Sorry. No, Dex. <laughs> Hi, Dex. <laughs> uh, ne uh, Lawrence, next question, please. That's a good-looking jacket. All right, I saw a hand over here. Uh, you. Uh, have you guys played Butt Sniffin' Pugs over at the Not yet. Yeah, has no. anybody played that yet? No. Okay. Butt, Sniffin Butt Sniffin' Pugs. Pugs. Yeah, nope. it, was, it was at E3, and then I think it was at RTX. Like, this is what I've been noticing. There's a trend. Um, we come to conventions, and we don't play games. It's very frustrating. Uh, did we, we played something, maybe. No, we haven't played anything yet. Uh, you and I? Yeah. No, we went to the Rock Band booth. Okay, here's a fun story. We went to the Rock Band booth... Uh, Yesterday, yeah, we're just kind of over there, and then while we're there, Tim Schaefer just walks up within like arm's length of me, and he's like, "Oh, I'm here to play Rock Band," and I was like, "I love you, I love you, I want to touch did, you." Did he cut in front of you to play Rock? He band? did, so I didn't get to play. Um, but anyway, it's bittersweet. Yeah, we don't get to play any games. While yeah, we're well, because typically we're running either from here or to the Rooster Teeth booth signing stuff, and so we do that thing. You ever been in a wheelchair? Uh, at like no. Disneyland, not like disabled. Oh yeah, like oh, absolutely. all the time. Oh, oh, or, yeah, that's what or I've you ever done like single rider lines at like Disneyland or Magic Mountain or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's basically all we have time for. We have to like we'll sneak up to like Microsoft. And be like, uh, uh, you got room? You got room? And then they'll go, door. absolutely Adam, not. Go Adam's to the back of the line. Is showing right now. Yeah. What? Your privilege is showing. Uh, no, 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 and that barely works. That's oh, like right. sometimes. Mega sixty four gave us it's, some clothes. It's it's really oh, frustrating. Yeah. That's too the best part so far. Um, like. Adam and I like to play Smite a lot, and it's right there. <laughs> like, I can almost touch it. You think if we yell loud enough, they'll bring codes over? Smite! Smite! <laughs> Smite! Uh, bring me a code! Uh, Lawrence, next uh, That was very loud. All right. You got three banked up already. Look at that. Lawrence. All right, what's your question? <laughs> so, seeing as VR is so relevant here and it's just getting so huge, what is your favorite VR experience that you've... Dealt with so far. Our, oh. our favorite VR experience. Yeah, favorite VR. We had a great VR experience yesterday. Yeah, we did. We went and uh, saw the HTC Vive at Valve. Um, and we got to play it, and uh, they showed us like the Aperture Laboratories demo. Uh, it was amazing. It was like, it, you have to actually be in it to understand what it is. <laughs> like, I don't know if you tried Oculus Rift. Have you tried Oculus? Okay. What did you think of Oculus? Did you like it? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you had the glasses on. But I mean, Oculus is really, really good. The Vive sold me. Like, I was immediately sold once I stepped inside. It was, to me, it was the controllers made the experience so much more immersive. And the Aperture Lab demo, which I guess they've released online. You can watch it. Or yeah. I think you can watch it. It's really fun and funny and amazing because you're in the room. But the thing that I liked the most was you go, there's like a black space that you're in, and you are painting in three dimensions with paintbrushes and different filters and all sorts of stuff. And... It's like three-dimensional Photoshop, and it's mind-blowing. You can paint, like, 
circles around yourself and stars <laughs> and all sorts of snow, snowflakes and all sorts awesome. of cool stuff. Yeah, it's really hard to explain this sort of stuff because it it's quite literally seeing is believing. And I highly That's recommend true. if you ever get to do a, D, a VR demo, do it. But like what Joel's talking about, you could draw a circle and then stick your head in the circle and look at it. Like, yeah, it's all 3D. Yeah, and it's all one well, to one. In Joel's like, case, he drew a redhead, a topless redhead. <laughs> He did. And then, and then. <laughs> that, I'm a naughty boy. Yeah. Is he greet? We're, we're waiting to hear back from Valve. We took a screenshot of Joel's art, and we're waiting for Valve to like let us share it. So yeah, yeah. we'll see. But that was awesome. Good All question. Right. Yeah. I like this. They're coming to me now. What is your question, young lady? Hey. Okay. So I know the community of gaming online is very is a very good community. Um, in terms of travel, have you guys ever met someone online and wanted to go out and meet them in real life at a convention or wherever? And if have you ever done that? Do you mean somebody romantically? No, <laughs> or just like a friend. Anyone? Uh, Joel, she's asking you out. Uh, I invited the lads back to my apartment tonight. Uh, Sorry, team lads. Can you repeat the question? I didn't hear it. Have we ever met anybody that uh, in real life that we had been talking to online? All the time, like a lot of our community members, uh, the people that we're actually close friends with now, we initially met uh, either on Twitter or Instagram or uh, you. Get I actually, out yeah, here. I met those guys online for the first time. Yeah. These little, these little YouTube babies. Our Ladies and gentlemen, our offenders. email pen pals. Come here, come, come here, come sit in our lap. Aw, come on. I am. You guys know come on over guys, here. Come you, on, you know these guys are. Uh, come on. They're Oh, cute. look at how cute he is. Oh, look at hey, this guy. how cute he is. Look at this guy. Huh? Pop myself a James. Hey, how's it going? I love you guys. Oh, yeah. I love you. Scratch his belly to see if we can get his leg to kick. <laughs> there it is. Oh. There it is. Hey, yeah, your crotch is kind of warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys? I know. It's warm up here. It's do you fun. guys, Alex and James, do you meet people online and then meet them in real life? Oh, yeah. All the time. Ew. No, That's but like, 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 no, but like through through work. Chris Hansen comes out. Huh? They're like, yeah, I have, I set up appointments. Oh, okay. And such. Yeah. Joel, I I left swiped you on uh, Tinder. I mean, right swiped you earlier. I don't know if you saw it. It's or a not. secret profile. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you saw my profile and you're gonna answer me back. Because I really want to go on a Which date. Which way did you swipe, Joel? Next Up. question. Uh -oh. Joel, I I think he's Much. asking you out. Everybody's asking out, Joel. Who wants to go out on a date with me? Nobody raised Raise their hands. Raise your hands. Wow. Your hands. Nobody raised their hands. That hand. one girl laughed. She's all. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, Lawrence, you have another question. Yeah. All right. You're getting heavy. Oh, you can leave whenever you guys want. It's fine. Okay. What's the weirdest uh, uh, like experience oh, you've had with a fan at a convention? That one right there. there. What? Over there. What's the weirdest experience we've had with a fan at a convention? Um, <laughs> I mean... Some people get nervous. Like some people just like walk up, which I don't understand. Like I don't understand when people are nervous. Like you were nervous up. around Tim Schafer. Yeah, but Tim Schafer has accomplished things with his life. You look at you. You're wearing a hat. You're on a stage. Why are you doing that? Vote Mega 64. What's wrong with your hands? I'm wearing all Mega 64 gear. These are the Mega Mega 64 fingerless gloves. The Mega 64. Oh, <laughs> just stop. No, no, Mega 64. Okay. So, Neat. so, uh, so, I mean, people get nervous. So, I mean, even if there's an there's a ton, like there's a ton of awkward experiences that that we have in any any given signing or whatever. But it's not like it doesn't make me feel strange. Right. Like I don't feel uncomfortable around like anyone that I've ever met. And I'm like, I'm like. Okay, you you shouldn't be nervous, but I get that you're nervous, and I like we just saw. I get nervous sometimes around people too. So I, I mean, Tim Schafer may think that I'm some sort of weirdo dork who's just like staring at him in the he back. He does. But like, I'm, yeah, he thinks you that. Tim Schafer, what's your weirdest convention experience with a fan? Uh, I was in line to play rock band. Guy came up to me and said, "I'll be your toilet." <laughs> I'm I'm the opposite. I make like every interaction with a fan awkward because I just say things. Oh, because you make it like, awkward. Yeah, I was just try saying, that's and be funny, and that's my downfall. Yeah. Oh, you try and be funny. Oh, well. <laughs> see, Spool's not very funny, not very often. No, that's I, what, uh, that's what makes him really funny, though. Yeah, that's, I uh, I don't get nervous. I just dwell. Oh I yeah, sleep on it. James mocks me for this, but like, I'll lay it out there at night, and I just like sitting there, and I'm like. Did I say something mean to that guy? Like, yes, I, I may have pissed off a fan. Did. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. I don't I just, like you. And I, I dwell on things, and I lose sleep, and then I, I do it again. Yeah, the, fa the fans <laughs> don't like you, Adam. That's, uh, that's what they told me. Who here doesn't <laughs> like Adam? 
It was that same guy. A lot of hands. Uh, yeah. He wants to go out on a date with Joel, and he hates that. One girl went, ha! <laughs> uh, Lawrence. Yeah, see. So, Lawrence, feel free to answer these questions. Yeah, Lawrence, just because you're not on stage. The, uh, oh, it's all, it's all weird. The you're, the, you're, the, you're learning how to be a drill guy with his crotch. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, you, Lawrence is like, school. hey, you got a question over here? The guy's like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, you move. It's this guy. No, 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 Hello. no, no. Um, jumping back to travel, is there anywhere that you haven't been to but want to get to? Or on the reverse side, anywhere you're okay not going back to? Australia? Yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah I want to go to Australia. I haven't been there. Uh, I know you and I are going um, in January for RTX Australia. Yeah. But uh, I know we'd all like to go at some point. That's for sure. I'd like to go to PAX Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> they don't have that. Huh? PAX Cancun. That's, that's not a thing. Um, no, I mean, for like... For like Conventions or something like actual events or just places to travel. I know I've never been to Japan. I really want to go to Japan. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, that would be awesome. That would really be cool. I've been to Japan, but we're huge in Japan. No, are we? They love us. I don't think so. All right, does North Korea. Have a I don't know. North. Yeah, we'd yeah, like uh, we'd like to open up talks to try and get into North Korea. We're we're actually opening up a satellite. Uh, Funhouse Pyongyang branch. Yep. All right, yep. Lawrence. Next question. They cosplay. Need a, hungry need a question. People. Somebody come up with one <laughs> quickly. Oh. Okay, we got it. Awesome. Over there. All right, so um, it seems like um, since all of you are here, you have more of a presence than the people from Rooster Teeth. So uh, have you guys thought of like doing your own booth apart from Rooster Teeth, or would it you, just all stay the same? Doing a, a what apart from Rooster Teeth? Our own booth. Like a Funhouse booth. Oh, we, oh. we did that at RTX. So yeah. Yeah. we were at the you know, Rooster Teeth convention, and we had our own little Funhouse booth. But we didn't do anything there. We just stood there. Yeah, well, <laughs> we stared at people. Stuff and well, we... no, we, we pitched this idea to, like, like Gus really early on. We're like, what if we create, like, a workspace? So, like, we could, because the whole team's going to be there. We don't want to slow down production. So, like, like, you can come hang out with us. We'll be editing. Like, it'll be, like, an all-day thing. It'll be, like, a work zoo. Um, and they were like, yeah, that makes sense. But we need to, like, sell a sponsorship for it. And they did have one. But the sponsor dropped out at the last minute. Oh, so yeah. then it kind of just became, like, a booth. We that just, we just four stood walls there. with a chair in the center, just spinning. Yeah, we yeah. just Energizer <laughs> power station. Well, so and then they asked us like, "Do you want a, a charging station?" Or like, "Yeah, that, that's a good idea." Like, give them a reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the first day it wasn't plugged in. Yeah, it didn't and work. So people were like plugging their phones. And and it going, did, well, <laughs> didn't Joel, charge. Before we settled on power station, Joel was like, "What about a bar?" Oh yeah. And they were like, "Oh yeah, we can do a bar. Yeah, that's no problem. You guys can have a bar at your booth." To be fair, it'll cost. Eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> to be fair, the bar was Lawrence's idea. I was just fully in support of it. Oh, okay. oh I right. see. Was it my idea? It was. I don't know. I recall my eyes lighting up when I heard it. Oh. But no, no, no. My plan was to have our PAs constantly be booze badgers. Talk louder. Oh, I can hear it. Why can't anybody also, else? Also, you have a it's microphone on, on your face. <laughs> you have right. a microphone on your face. And we're going to have a question. I'll get you in just a second. How do you balance professional journalism with dick and fart jokes? Lawrence, uh, you should answer uh, It's that. pretty easy. You just do both at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> ideally, both people get what they want. No, I, like, Where's going? Where's going? <laughs> there is... Uh, He's as far away from that guy. Yeah, anyway, question. that's my show. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone trying to follow you in the camera. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> the cameras need to get a shot of you, Lawrence. Uh, ideally, you... You balance the two. You, you do the dicks and farts first because that's what keeps people in, and then you give them something to chew on. And yes, I use that verb on purpose. So, you know, there's an art to it, but you get better at it. Uh, so join me back here because we're very close to the camera. What is it? Do you guys have um, any advice for a, like a beginning gaming YouTuber? Oh, um, yeah, actually, uh, we've been asked that question a number of times. Uh, I think the first rule, at least on YouTube, is to be passionate about what you're doing. So play a game that you like, that you can talk about, and that you want to record yourself playing. Because if you're playing something that you think is popular, or if, you, you know, if there's something that you're like, oh, well, this will really get me views or whatever, don't do that. Do something that you want to do first, and then it kind of evolve your content from there. That's, yeah. that's usually my first yeah, like, piece of advice. Yeah, because people can tell when you're being fake. So if you're passionate about something, you're doing it, they're going to tell that you're, they're going to pick up that you like it. Whether they like that content too is a different thing, but you'll eventually gather and collect people that are like-minded with you because they're out there. Even if you feel like you're alone, there's other people that are into the same stuff as you. Yeah, if you're into like weird, freaky stuff like Lawrence, <laughs> there are 7 billion people on this planet and that number is getting bigger. You'll find enough people who like what you like. Right, always. Thank you for your question. Does anybody else have one? Oh. 
I like what the ticket booth. Is I get to growl. Out. <laughs> out. What's up? When does the uh, podcast end tonight? What what up? What where, when does the podcast end? When does the, when this podcast end? No, no, no. The yeah, I'm, I'm asking the same question. Oh, the what time tonight. does the, the, the YouTube, YouTube live show yeah. end yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's, when does it end? Yeah. I don't know. Never. Yeah. It goes on forever. Uh, it goes right, from like I'm, 9 p.m. till that's been a, 5 a.m. Like, that's been like a funny line of questioning. So we're doing a live show tonight. Uh, it's like our first like sold show that we did. Like You have to buy tickets, all that fun stuff. And people ask us weird questions like, Will there be dinner? <laughs> like, yes, there will be dinner. Well, we're going to serve you. Yeah. steak or yeah. fish. <laughs> and then, like, when can I leave? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you don't have to go. I was like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> what? How many Yelp review scores do you have? No, I don't know. 1030. Maybe next I mean, time like, we should have an yeah. FAQ for the podcast. Uh, oh, yeah. Blaine has a question. Oh, but Blaine, oh. Blaine's got a question. Why are you over Blaine? there? Man, you know how this works. <laughs> uh, sorry, you got, you got preempted. I hope you feel bad. Don't worry, we're coming back to you. I had to walk away from that nice man. What are, what are some features you want to see in the Shinmu sequel? What game Features we want to see uh, uh, a delete save file option. <laughs> uh, I'd like to have a way to k skip cutscenes. And uh, I'd like there to be an option for it to turn into a different game entirely. <laughs> That'd be a good feature. What game? Shenmue. Oh, yeah. But can they do that in the middle of the game? So like they're like, oh, I'm playing a little bit. I, I like mean, if you got to the middle of Shenmue, there's already something wrong. <laughs> So <laughs> you basically get to the main menu, and then on the top it goes, would you like to turn this into Super Mario 64? Go, yeah. And you hit yes. If you hit no, it'll go, are you sure? And you hit yes. Yeah. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> you really sure? And then it goes, uninstalling. Oh. <laughs> it's not even Failed. installed. All right. What is your question? Uh, this is actually kind of towards spool more like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a recent episode of Demo Disc, uh, James and uh, Bruce were laughing quite hysterically about uh, the Scrobbles on Last FM, and you seem to take your phone up above your monitor from your editing or whatever. Yeah. And I don't know if you edit or you videoed or just took a picture. Uh, that was that was for me just because they laughed for like five or ten minutes straight at Scrobbles, and so they were just laughing. I wanted to record that because they were not stopping. So that's. That's what I was doing back there. We were we were in a weird mindset. So we just came back from RTX. We were hysterical. We had just been on like an eight-hour flight delay, so we we're all a little weird in the head. Yeah. yeah. So like it was at that point. Like, have you ever stayed up for a very long time and just everything is funny? That was us and just freaking scrabbles. Yeah. In our defense, that word is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we laughed. Can you share that, like, edit it into a random video, their laughs? I, it's it's going to be part of our laugh track now, because uh, you know how all of our videos have a laugh track yes. to tell you when to laugh? Yeah. That's going to be the laugh track for our videos now. <laughs> we like when it's us laughing at our own jokes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that girl's laughing across. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. I almost. Uh, got it. Fuck. Over. Lawrence's yeah. like, hold on. I'm going to check out the uh, gigantic booth, see if they have any questions for you guys. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are involved in it, but probably just Adam and Bruce. Have you ever buried the hatchet with Tim and Eric from Tim and Eric's Awesome Show over the parody? Ooh. Well, so I don't know if, we, I mean, like, after, after that, ha so I'll explain the story. We produced a short about the Xbox when it first came out, the Xbox One. Uh, it was very Tim and Eric because we all love Tim and Eric. And Tim tweeted it out and was like, these guys are ripping off our style. And then he tweeted out our video which is great because we got a bunch of views from it. Everybody watched it. And then he did it again, right? He made fun of he us said, again. He said, he said something to the effect, or who are these copycats? I want names yeah, or something like yeah. that. And then people ended up tagging you two yeah. in it. And then and they were like, these guys. And he's like, they're on my shit list now. <laughs> but then he tweeted the video again. He, he tweeted it twice. Yeah. And the weird thing is, I think I was, I was going to write an email. I had an email drafted to him. I like being like, hey, I, like, I hope you're not upset, blah, blah, blah. But I never sent it. So I think, I think he, we're still feuding. I think he still doesn't like us, to be honest with you. You hear that, Tim and Eric? We're calling you out, man. <laughs> Get down here to PAX. Why do you have that weird accent? It's my, it's my wrestler uh, call-out accent. Ah, yeah, so, yeah. brother. Well, I mean, collectively, well, I don't know about Joel, but like, I know like a, a friendship moment for... James and I was one is like, you like Tim and Eric? I like Tim and Eric, and we, you know, you know we love each other. Um, what? What? What was that last thing that you did? Be the before the love each other. Ah, well, we'll I forget do? about <laughs> it. We'll go back to it later. Uh, Tim and Eric are really good at this thing at staying in character forever, and like 
there's, there's a couple articles you read about it where like Tim talks about it. He's like, yeah, it's sort of doing myself a disservice by calling all of my characters Tim because you can't tell a difference between them. We're not really good at that. We're just kind of ourselves. And like we don't really live, we don't do the Andy Kaufman thing. So like while I respect those guys, I don't think I could ever be in a room with them because they would be in that mode all that time. And we would, I would be uncomfortable and be like, Please just be normal. Well, <laughs> like, please really, just talk to me. It's yeah. really intimidating because, like, we'd be there, and then I'd want to like ask Tim a question, and then Tim Schaefer would show up, and I'd be like, "They clam is he up here? again." I'd piss myself. And, and Eric Asada, who I know you also love, oh, would boy. show up. You mean Eric Estrada? <laughs> Did you say Eric Asada, like Carne Asada? <laughs> <laughs> His name is not Eric Carne Asada. Next, next question. God, we need another question, please, somebody. <laughs> please, All right, please. What are the names of all the dogs you have, and who owns them? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, the dogs belong to the world. Uh, no, so I have a dog. His name is Benson. He's uh, the large uh, golden furry one <laughs> with a uh, fucked up nose. Oh. And uh, then uh, Bruce has a dog, Roxy. Roxy is her name. She's the tube-like one. She's a corgi German shepherd. Yeah, it She's looks, a little, it little looks girl. Like if you had a German Shepherd in Photoshop, but then you just pulled down the top bar. <laughs> uh, and then Joel has Billy. And I have Billy, and Billy's a mutt uh, that is a, we don't even really know what she is, but she's very fluffy. And um, she has human eyes. She has eyes of, uh, of, a, of a soulful human. Yeah. yeah, and our new office allows us to bring in dogs. So when it's convenient. I think actually yeah. technically it doesn't. I think no, it doesn't. Our, it's our, good. We're all good. Our business. You probably shouldn't say that on the stream. We're all good. That somebody might be watching. The building manager, specifically, we don't get dogs, but we're doing dogs, baby. My favorite part is when the dogs fight for, like, three quarters of the day, and you guys are, like, playing, like, try recess, like, teachers trying to break them well, up. Well, my like, dog's oh, nine months old, and she will <laughs> not know. stop. She won't stop fighting. And I'm always like, Roxy! She, she just won't stop. So I always have to physically pull her away. Roxy's also incredibly nervous. I can't imagine why living with Bruce would make a dog nervous. Uh... <laughs> So whenever I try to approach her just to pet her, she runs away from me. <laughs> she doesn't like uh, Joel. Oh, what were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say she doesn't like Joel. Uh, what were you going to say? Nothing. The word starts with a J? Yeah. Yeah, Joel. German shepherds. <laughs> Journalists. Oh. <laughs> no. oh, somebody please ask a question. Oh, there's a Anybody? pink shirt over there. Anybody? The first one I've seen. Ah, that nice pink shirt. I like that. Uh, Joel, I've noticed you've been doing more art and drawing recently. Has that always been a hobby of yours? Or is that kind of new you've been getting into? Or... Uh, yes, I would consider I would consider myself a modern day Picasso. Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've I I've always been drawing. I got bored in class when I was a kid, and so I just started drawing and then taking art classes for fun. And then when I went to college, I one of my majors was art, um, and I I didn't do anything with it. So I just draw on the side. A lot of nights I'll go home and I'll just draw my sketchbook or during meetings. Um, I wish I kind of were drawing right now. Uh, it's probably, this is a boring podcast. I, it would be livened up by me drawing a little bit, I think. Um, and I do stream sometimes with my friends uh, drawing. Um, I could talk a little bit about more about drawing. I also did sculpture in college, uh, focusing on the human body. It's pretty sexy. Um, mainly wireframe sculptures, but next sometimes some question. play. Next oh, question. no, we can hang on this for a while. We can do this for a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah, keep going. This is good stuff. Uh, in terms of uh, if you're looking for advice to how to start drawing, uh, I would recommend uh, a book called Anatomy for the Artist by Jano Barkse. He's an, he's an Hungarian artist. It's really good about breaking down the body into its component parts and learning about the joints and the skeletons and the musculature. Highly recommended. <laughs> what, what day is it? Did oh. you have a dream? Oh, wow. Fa is facts over? Oh, hey. What? Anybody else have a question? Ah. Hey, all right. Got to. I saw you first. So. Thank you for your question. That was a good bit, Joel. Did you see that? We pretended to fall asleep. And I, pret talked about I pretended art. to actually enjoy art. Yes, pretended. That's so, Patrick. I know your name. So, James, uh, I've been doing leg days, like you said, to get cool. Yeah, you've been doing leg day? But the thing is, now I'm too cool. So Ooh. how do I get uncool? Well, what do you Wait, suggest? hold on. I think he's saying he can squat more than you. Well, how much do you squat? Uh, 250. Ooh. 250? 250 squat. You went, uh, I don't know about... What do you squat? 250? <laughs> yeah, well, you got some room to grow, buddy. Thank All right. <laughs> how how All right. should I get hey, If you drink your though. milk, one day you'll end up where James is. Until you can put four plates on there, man. Right. Cool isn't the name. I can't do four plates. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there's another one. Keep squatting. You. 
Hashtag. Yeah, always. Squat. Never stop squatting. Okay, just to liven things up, if you could have a milkshake party right now with all the fans, would you do it? Wait, a what? If a we had a birthday party. party. No, milkshake party. Milk. Oh, milkshake party. Yes. What kind of milkshakes would we each have? Any flavor in this the world. This sounds like a I think this is a trap. That a milkshake party is slang for something. That I don't yeah, know what what's it is. Yeah, what's a milkshake party? Does anybody know what a milkshake party, party is? No, it's just for fun. But Did somebody look that up on their phone? Well, someone feel Urban bad. Dictionary milkshake like party. Milkshake right. party. Hold it's on. Trap, we'll trap, get to the bottom trap, of trap, this. Trap, trap, trap. That, that's well, what a milkshake meantime, party is. In the meantime, I would probably put uh, banana, vanilla ice cream, uh, chocolate sauce. Uh, some whey protein. Some whey protein. Probably chocolate whey protein. Um... And uh, then some ground up glass, a little bit of glass in it. So. All right. So I found how to throw a milkshake party. Oh. When in doubt, buy the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> number two, Whoa. milk is key. Who knew? Okay. Uh, number three, mini blenders make light work. The, are these? I don't know if these are like puns. <laughs> They're not puns or whatever. They're just. No, this is a real milkshake party. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a milkshake party later. Anyway, uh, chocolate or something. <laughs> There, there was like a how-to channel on YouTube that was big for a while, and one of them was like, how to clean spoons. <laughs> That's what that list sounded like. Yeah, no, it's, I don't know. Apparently, it's not dirty, so. Okay, all right. I, I'd also make a waffle, and then I'd put the waffle in, and then I'd grind that up. Oh, yeah, that too. sounds good. All right. That sounds Why really not, good. Why not, right? I'll do it. My party. Lawrence? All right. Another, next question. Ooh, behind the table. <laughs> Before I ask my question, I just wanted to say I asked chat on the laptop here, and they had terrible, terrible questions, so I'm just going to ask my own. Uh, um, yes, yes, chat for questions. Oh, okay. I, I was asking the chat of the Oh, screen, oh, I got it. And okay. they all just gotcha. spammed and ignored me, so you guys missed out. Sorry. Um, when's the first official meeting of the Cult of Peak? Uh, it's, it's been taking place for some time now. Yeah, you've been missing of, it. The Cult of Peak has been around for centuries. Yeah. So, I mean, just because you guys are now aware of it, yeah. now you're starting to see it pierce the surface. It's so bit. mainstream now. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, it's kind of, I'm kind of over it, honestly. Yeah, no, it's, it's not really cool anymore. It used yeah. to be cool, but it's not. So, so I mean, yeah. I guess you could get the t-shirt if you want. Well, I don't know. I don't think you should wear that shirt, though. I don't there think it so. Is. Wait, oh, that's what the shirt is. I thought oh. it was just forward slash backslash. Oh. Not backwards slash. But be careful slash. where you wear that shirt, because... If you wear that peak shirt around, like there's rival there's rival cults that yeah. you may have heard of. You. Scientology does not like the cult of peak at all, at all. Next Good question. Guys. Somebody, please. Oh, what are you yeah. doing? This guy's oh. this. Huh. 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 gross. Huh. God, I might be clueless yeah. to this, but are any of you in your new movie? Are any what? Are any of you guys in your movie? In a, are oh, any of us team? in our movie? Team? The Rooster Teeth movie? I just saw like a trailer um, for it. So funny enough, where's Blaine? Blaine, he just he's over there. Where's Blaine? Over there. Blaine. Hey, Blaine. Blaine, we need you to, to explain, uh, explain to the man explain. why we're not in the movie. <laughs> What's up? Why are we not in Laser Team? Yeah. You know what happened? Let's <laughs> look at the deleted scenes and you know when the DVD comes out. I don't, <laughs> we might be on the deleted scene. Well, no, hold on. So, so, the real reason we're yeah. not in the movie is because of Lawrence. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Blaine came down to film like a pickup. We shot. did multiple takes. <laughs> multiple <laughs> takes. <laughs> go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Blaine came to our office and got like a shot where we were. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just us reacting. We were just supposed to be normal people reacting, reacting to a thing. We can't say what. Um, and then. For whatever reason, Lawrence decided to improv. So it was so uh, Blaine's direction was <laughs> so, basically like so salty. aliens are coming down, or they're, you're reacting, you're seeing something, yeah. and and you need to, it's on the news in front of you. It's interrupting what you're and doing, and you got to oh, be what's clear. Going this on? is this is going to be a two second like two second. shot. Yeah. And then so and so we start doing. It's like all right, go ahead. And then and then Lawrence is like typing on the computer. Whoa, what's this? Oh no! Oh no! No, I simply not. Oh good, they're leaving. Like, like basically just like change the plot of the whole movie. Once Lawrence seen, is not amused. Uh, nice. This is one of those instances where I know it didn't happen that way. I'm not allowed to say anything. It's not in the movie, so you can't prove us wrong. That's, yeah. that's also true. It was actually Joel's fault. Yeah. Well, we uh, I remember well we went and saw a screening of Laser Team, and that I knew where the moment was coming, and I was sort of like, Fuck. like and, it and then it got cut, and I was like. Oh, thank God. Didn't show up. So, so no, we are not in Laser Team. But who Thank knows? you, Lawrence. Who knows? There's still time to do a Marvel-esque cameo. 
<laughs> at the very end of the movie? Yeah, not us. I'm saying like a Marvel character. Oh, oh, like, oh. Stan Lee? Like, okay. like, like Stan Lee, yeah. Falcon. Dog. Who else has Falcon. a question? Anybody, please. Oh, good. We got a treasure trove back here. I was nice starting hat. to freak out a little bit. So if you had to choose one booth <laughs> at PAX to shot. represent you, what would it be? <laughs> choose what? What did he say? If you had to choose one, po- one booth at PAX to represent you, what would it be? One booth at PAX to represent you. Oh, booth. You. Booth at PAX. Oh. Uh, I haven't really gotten to explore it nearly enough. I would say for James, James's booth would be Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Oh. He loves Cards Against Humanity. Uh, if you ever see James out in real life, make sure you bring him the game. Cards Against Humanity, because he collects them at home. He has five or six at home, but he needs more. So make sure you bring him uh, Cards Against Humanity to James next time you see him. Uh, for Joel, it would probably be whatever booth has butt-sniffing pugs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what would, what There's would nothing be funny about that. Oculus. Real. I don't, Adam's I, Oculus, because he's the future. Who? Oh, Adam? Adam, so technology forward. Oh, okay. I, I know we're supposed to get jokes out of this, but I'm just like, I haven't seen anything. I don't uh, think we're well, supposed to get jokes out of it. I, I think this is real. I keep seeing the booth of the guy who will make you like a gaming table, but he's like, it's like a four-year waiting list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's, are, he's here every year. I got to say, those tables are fucking great. I want one of those tables so hard. Get on the list? Uh, Yeah, I don't have, what is it, like $75,000 or something. Get on the list? You'll be dead by the time it arrives. Yeah. Is, is there a 420 booth here for Spool? Four tw- oh. I don't think there is. Hey, Mega 64. Is Seattle. Oh, uh, oh. Mega 64. That's the closest to a 420 oh. booth. Yeah. So. Might. It's good. Might booth. Might booth for James. Might. Next question. All right. There was another hand back here. Oh, good lord. Okay. Oh, how's that gonna work? Yeah. If you could come over here, that'd be awesome. Right. Like as. Lawrence, no one can see you there. Close to the cameras. Oh, we never <laughs> All right, get up in here. Come on. <laughs> so, Adam, right. we've been waiting go. 10 years for another Critical Flaw episode. When are you going to get on that? Lawrence, can you repeat the question? Because we couldn't hear it. When are you going to do Critical Flaw again? What? <laughs> I mean... Never. I have a question for you. What to you is Critical Flaw? Ooh. This, this, is, this is the question that Adam's going to ask where, in rest assured, in eight hours, he'll be in bed, in bed. like... Oh, fuck, was I mean to that guy? I I really insulted that that guy. guy. Why did I react that way? It was the number one YouTube show ever. Absolutely not. (laughs) It was not. No, I mean, I always saw that as like, is a skit show we did when we worked at Machinima. We're doing skits now. Like, that's what I've always wanted to do is just make skits, make dumb live action stuff like in the realm of gaming somehow. So uh, why aren't you watching our new skits? We take our clothes off a lot. He is. Oh, God. Oh. But Why are you I assuming them all? that he doesn't watch? Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying we kind of are. I yeah. don't know. Anyway, back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice Thank question. You for your question. And anybody else have a question? Ooh, 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 ooh. You're closer. I'll get to you next time. Oh, you're standing. Nice. When you go on a road trip, who does what? Like, task oriented. Like when we go on a road, we, we all have different responsibilities when we're on, when I, we're on road I trips. I work the pedals. Yeah, you know, I work the steering wheel. Bruce is the steering wheel. Yeah. I'm the tires. And he's the tires. I don't know. I, uh, who wants to drive? I hate driving. Does anybody want to drive? I drive. Peak. Joel, Joel's, Joel drive. Cause he likes driving. Yeah, I drive us to lunch every day. Um, I guess I would be the navigator, but I'm not the best navigator in the Left! world. Left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I'd do that. I, I, think, like I think it means like when we're out shooting at stuff like PAX, like w- who does what when we're at events. Oh. All, basically, all of us sit up on these couches and then answer questions. Yeah, that's what we do. This is, we came to PAX just for this. Yeah, yeah. So And no, then after sure. this, we're flying out. Yeah. So. No, we do, we do like signings at our... No, we don't. We don't do any of that stuff. We edit videos. No, we don't do that either. Say, we go to parties? Uh, nope. Yeah. Some yeah. of us. No. Yeah, sometimes we go to Target. Oh, Target. Target. Uh-huh. Oh, we go to Target. Yeah, yeah. Target? Yeah. About oh, a we don't go to parties, though. Uh, yeah, we flew in on about an hour ago, and then we'll see you uh, back in Los Angeles about three hours. So. <laughs> no one's lying. You got to... No, well, I'm yelling at I just lie. this kid. What did you say? The podcast is over? He no, went. no, no, no. He's asking about if we're leaving after this, who's going to do the podcast? Oh. You are. We fly. No, we're flying back to L.A., and then yeah. we're getting back on a plane to come back here to right. do the podcast. We do the podcast and fly back. The, the but you're going to be on it. Really, will it really help out? The change. Next question, please. <laughs> uh, so, awesome armor. Listen to this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, can't hear it. Talk, into, talk under your mic. And it, oh, his, his mic? No. <laughs> okay, so real quick, I'm sure you've been blown by, like, everybody, but I just want to say you guys have do some baller shit. 
Anyway, that aside, Bruce, you've mentioned 40k a couple times, and I've always wondered what army you play in Warhammer. Oh, I never played it. Oh, no, no. That's, that's for nerds. Um, uh, <laughs> nerds. No, I, I, I used to watch my friends play, which is even nerdier, by the way. Uh, it is. And they were like, uh, what, what was, cha was it Chaos? Yes. Yeah, one, one of my friends is Chaos. He's really good at it. Okay. Uh, another of my friends was like, it's not humans. There's like Imperials or some shit. Im Imperial Guard? That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, he was really bad. He would always making lose. making all this up and no one will know. Uh, well, I mean, I won't know either. I, I, I know. I know the game. I used, no, I used to watch my friends. They would paint the, the miniatures. You watched I, them paint? I did, and I used to try to help, but I'm really bad at it. Again, I was the nerd. I was going to say. I was, I was like, the nerd in that situation. You were staring at it, and you were like, <laughs> that was dry. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, I, I never really played. I wasn't good at it, so. Okay. Yeah. I was, I've always wondered, so. Yeah. No, a, now I know. Thank you. Thank you for the question. I'm glad we can solve mysteries today. Providing a service. Please, somebody raise their hand. Good. I like that. Guy, like, how yeah. often is someone from the Rooster Teeth office in your office, and how often are someone from your office in their office? And what do you uh, do? Do they put you in a corner, or, or do you put them in a corner? It turns out there's always somebody from Rooster Teeth in our office because we're part of Rooster Boom! Teeth. Boom! Boom! <laughs> I think Not he means boom. the Austin Yeah. Office. yeah Thanks, fool. Uh, no, okay. we, uh, Bernie, Bernie will randomly show up in our office and be like, hey, guys. And, yeah. we like, and like, there was a, one time we periscoped with um, we knew Bernie was coming in, but we only knew like ten minutes before he was coming in, and we knew he was periscoping on his way into our office. <laughs> so what we did was we took off all our clothes, <laughs> sat at our computer desks, and worked because we knew Bernie would come in, and so While he did. Periscoping. And the rest is history. Now we're famous. <laughs> uh, I mean, we only recently moved into an office large enough to support if other people wanted to come out. So. Uh, since then, not that often, but we're going to go to Austin in a couple weeks and yeah. hang out there for a couple days. Unfortunately, we're sitting next to Achievement Hunter. Yeah. So we're not crazy about that. Yeah. I don't like them. Blaine and I are going to lift together. <laughs> we're going to lift? <laughs> lift and live together? Spot me, bro. Do you get guest passes for your gym? All right. That's only for James, though. It's not for you. I said passes. Is it at 24 hours? Yeah. James does need two or three passes a day. I just put Joel in my backpack, and then I walk on the treadmill. <laughs> uh, Lawrence, All right, guys. like Yoda. This is the last question. I got Cameron here, and he's going to ask a really good question. Okay. Oh, and if man. If he doesn't, he's going to ruin the podcast for everybody. No okay? pressure. You ready? <laughs> and, it, and if he asks a bad one, I need a prep party. Do this. Give, give him a little bit of that. All right, here we go. Cameron, shake party. best question ever. James, can you do the booby thing? You, the what thing? Where you, you pop your boobs? You do the booby oh. thing. Oh, pop your boob. Oh! Oh, Wait, hold on. Zoom in. Zoom in. Here, zoom into him. Can we zoom? Wait for it. Uh, <laughs> Wait just for it. Doing, <laughs> can we zoom into this or no? No. No. The answer is no. A locked off shot. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I think it's that camera That's there. It's gorgeous. It is. It's that one. There you go. Oh. That's on the internet forever. Boy, Mega 64 has never been so embarrassed. Oh. 64, 64, 64. Wow. Looks like there's a marionette like, <laughs> making him dance. Uh, is that it? That no, was an awesome it. last question. You did it, Cameron. Nice. That was good. Yeah. Everybody give him a round of applause, please. Because he, he That's for him. the podcast very Not well. for us. No. Not for us. Good job, Lawrence. Yeah, nice thank job. No, no room. Beep, 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 beep. Nice and thank all of you who? for attending this oh. recording of the FAQ podcast. Oh, my phone. You guys, uh, you guys didn't do the thing. I know, it didn't work. Sorry. Aw. <laughs> Put your phone down. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, bad. <laughs> that's why we didn't do it. Oh, first call. We don't say names, but we'll allow you to introduce All right, yourself. So we can say Charlie. Go uh, ahead, sir. Hello, hello, Charlie. Are you there? Holy shit, man. Yeah, yeah Charlie. <laughs> What's going on, Charlie? <laughs> bro, 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 guys. I'm literally talking to my mates on Xbox. I said to them, I hope I get in, and I've got in. You I'm got sorry. in, yeah, no okay. problem. Well, I have a question for you. What game are you playing on Xbox? Advanced Warfare. Okay, well, Ooh. turn it off. That's perfect. Topical. Yeah, that's Abandon perfect. your friends. Oh, we're doing Call of Duty questions? <laughs> we are. Black I'm, okay. I'm, just well, in, I'm just sitting in the lobby at this minute. because.